Farm Box. I'm Josh and I'm going to show you around our off-grid self-contained living container. This is the unit here, nice and black. Over here we've got a couple of green tinted glass double glazed windows. At the top here is an LED light, it's very slim. We've got the same thing on the other side as well uh, for outdoor and living. Uh, over here this is where the power source comes in. Uh, you can obviously use solar as well on the software unit or you can decide to plug in with the caravan plug. We've also got a metering unit here and uh, your internet cables and stuff as well up at the top there. Now I'll take you on a tour inside. This is a very large branch slider uh, door here, 2.4 meters wide, so it's much higher than your standard. So I can reach the top of it, that's how high it is. Now if you come and have a look inside, this is a kitchenette. Um, you've got a double stove gas burner here, uh, air extraction fan, uh, stainless steel bench top as you can see a nice size sink and stainless steel quality taps and fittings here. Uh, cupboards, drawers, and here is a, I've got a um, microwave convection oven. You could put a, a full size oven in here as well if you, if you really wanted to. Uh, this is where I've got a fridge freezer. This is the kind of thing I'm envisaged putting in here. So as you can see, plenty of space to put your, your freezer items and also the fridge, fridge items in here. Uh, at the top here is space to put your toaster and your milkshake maker and all the other toaster sandwich makers that you want to put up there. You've got power sources here, more cupboards, uh, another power plug here with USB power ports. Makes for a really nice, uh, nice charging. And here you can hang some clothes, some clothes, put some, some, some clothes in there as well. Um, now if you have a look in this space here, this is where we uh, we put a couch down the, down the bottom, is how we envisage it set up, and also uh, a queen size bed, there will be space for a queen size bed in here. Uh, if you look on our website on the extras page, you will see that we have a bed loft, a little bed loft option, which fits in this space perfectly, specially designed, made out of stainless steel and aluminium. So the electric bed loft will plug into the top corner here, and the way we envisage it working is uh, during the daytime, yeah. and about you're not sleeping, the bed will sit about this high off the ground. So you sit on, on 1.9 metres high, you still have at least 2 metres of clearance in the bed. And then when you go to bed, you can bring the bed down, it always sits flat. Bring the bed down to say this height or this height. This height probably most of the time because you still have the, the bed up or the couch underneath here. But if you had someone to come and stay, you can also sit this height. And that's an option as well, it's more space. Uh, over this area here, this is the bathroom. You've got a nice sliding door here with nice designs. Uh, you've got all the, the lights here. Uh, it comes with the nice curtains. All quality curtains, but fit the size. And I'll take you into the bathroom here. This is the bathroom area. Uh, so we've got a mirror here, a light, so you can do makeup. A sink in there, you can store all your toiletries in there and also in here. On this side here, at the moment we've got a, a chemical toilet, but you can also put a composting toilet in. This unit just comes in and comes out, and you can put your composting toilet in there if, you, if that's what you wish. You can hang your clothes, your towels here, or clothes as well if you want to. Uh, on top here is another another window. This all winds in and out. All the all our stuff is quality and winds in and out, and has has, has wire mesh here to stop the bugs from coming in. Just a bit of fresh air. This is a shower, tempered glass, custom designed for the size. Um, as you can see, we've got a sort of waterf waterfall and uh, stainless steel um, shower head here with another one here as well. And you can control which one it goes to and the rest of it. Here is a fan to take out all the mist. You can put your do toiletries there as well. So nice sizable, sizable shower. Now I'll take you outside and show you a little bit more. As you, as you know, this is an off-grid unit, so it's been designed to be fully self-contained. So for that to happen, you need a fresh water tank, which we have here. It's got a measuring device here, so you can see how we've got. And that flows in from the roof. There's a small enough at the top here, and all the water automatically comes into this fresh water tank. This is a great water tank, which stores all the water from after you've used the shower or the, or the sink. It goes into the air. Then we've got the, 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 the pumps. This is where you can store your, 
your washing machine, so that plugs in. No worries, there's power in here, there's also a light source. Now up the top here, this is where I envisage you having your battery storage and your inverter storage for your solar. So it can all go in here and it connects into the power source inside there. You can also, there's probably space in here for a little storage as well if you wanted to. Um, a space and then this utility area is closed off like that. So mostly it'll be like that and there's a lot of stuff going to make it in place. So yeah, it looks very smart. Now these, these water tanks also have these valves here. So if I do this, the water comes out. For example, this is a four valve, four valve for the bottom one and this is also a piece of bottom tank. Um, if you don't want to use that water source, you can also plug the hose in here and get water that way. Uh, this is from, from the fan of course and this is where your gas hot water unit is. And all your ports here so the gas bottles will go down here which we'll do on site. Um, so yeah, I hope you like what you've seen and uh, click us a message. Cheers.